Hello, and welcome to Move Leadership in Motion. We're glad you've joined us today, and we're excited to talk to you about leadership. Literally, we're going to be breaking down the word leadership to summarize and give you an easy way to remember what the characteristics of a good leader are. So we were, we've been talking about leadership here at Hope for uh, 25 years. One of the things that we've been trying to figure out is how can we condense leadership into something that we can transfer um, that information easily and memorably to our staff and to our lay leaders. And I had one of those great moments. Uh, one morning I woke up and had this what we call a divine download um, where this acronym came to mind that really captures a lot of the principles that we try to embody in our leadership here at Hope. So that's what we want to share today. Um, and it really breaks down by the word. So the first two things are L and E, um, which stand for love everyone. Which sounds great, and it's <laughs> what we as Christ followers are all about. Uh, the truth of it is, it's not easy to it do. It is hard. <laughs> Because some people are difficult to love. They are. They really Sometimes are. we're the difficult ones to love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the idea here is that as followers of Christ, as those who are conforming to the image of Christ for the sake of others, the guiding principle is always how do I express God's love to the people that I'm in ministry with or doing ministry uh, for or to? and uh, finding ways to express yeah, love. Yeah, and we're naturally drawn to people who think like us, and so to continually remind ourselves that this is not an insider's club, it's not an insider mentality, that our heart and our focus need to be outward and in always attracting and reaching out to new people. Um, right. That can be really challenging sometimes. Yeah, so we, it's easy to love people who are like-minded and, and agree with us. It's more difficult when it's, when it's not that. The next part of that, then, is... Um, even though we, we love everyone, that doesn't mean that we... Um, Do it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> that. Um, or that we allow dysfunction to go on um, out of some um, incorrect idea of the nature of love. So love, uh, by its very nature, uh, calls people to a higher standard. And so when we have dysfunctional kinds of behaviors, we need to address that as leaders. Right, and so that's what our AD, the next two letters stand for, is addressing dysfunction. Um, realizing that there are different types of dysfunction, there is personal dysfunction, there is systemic, where one of our systems is dysfunctional, um, and really being able to admit and examine and, um, and dive into what it is that's causing that dysfunction at any time. Right, so the, um, that's the challenging part because, again, as Christ followers, we tend to want to be affirming of folks. We don't want to feel like we're judging people and, and all of those things. So that's what makes it challenging. But really what we're saying is everybody in the ministry, everybody in the organization, um, particularly those in leadership, should want things to be done better, to, to raise the bar always. And uh, if we allow for dysfunction in systems or in relationships, uh, we're going to undermine our ministry. And uh, as leaders, we don't want to do that. No, and we need to ask for accountability. You know, holding each other accountable within ministry is crucial. Um, so being able to say, hey, you know, I think you've got a problem you need to address, you know, it, um, within your ministry area is, is vital to be able to um, speak truth in love into each other's areas and to, and to be able to lean on each other and trust that maybe I'm too ingrained to see it and I need an outside perspective to be able to tell me, hey, you, you got to deal with this. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, so, but then the next two letters. Yes. E and R, equip and resource. So what uh, Ephesians tells us about leadership is that we are equipping the saints for service. And so as leaders, our job is to uh, equip people with the skills um, and training that they're going to need in order to do the ministry that we've asked them to do um, at the highest levels that we can in ways that are consistent with our vision and so forth. And so as a staff, as those in leadership, our job, our primary job is to equip uh, the lay folk who are doing the ministry. Yeah, there's that old Christian adage that you've heard over the years, God doesn't call the equipped, he equips the called. And, uh, 
And that's our job. You know, our job as leaders is to equip those that God's called into our ministry areas to make sure that we are, that we are there for them, that we are training them and growing them up the best way we possibly can. We always say that our leaders and our staff are here for that purpose, not to do ministry, but to, but to help others do the ministry that God's calling us to do. And then resource, um, providing the, the physical resources that people are going to need uh, to successfully do the ministry that we're asking them to do. And so that resourcing may be financial resources, it may be uh, facility resources. Curriculum. Curriculum, yeah. Yeah, there's all different, all different avenues that resources, all different ways resources can look. Um, but it's our job to be continually thinking about that and helping others to recognize what resources are available to them and also to make then additional resources available as the need arises. So then the next uh, two letters are SH, and uh, that is stay hopeful, to stay hopeful. And this is really the way we describe it is this is about self-leadership. Um, so many leadership folks say that the most difficult type of leadership is self-leadership, <laughs> of leading uh, your own life, your own faith, um, uh, to continue your journey of growing in faith in Christ. And so if we're going to be effective leaders, if we're going to be well-focused and well-disciplined and capable leaders, we need to tend to our own uh, relationship with Christ. Absolutely. And honestly, sometimes this can be really difficult because there isn't the same kind of accountability for this as there is for other areas of leadership. Um, it isn't measurable the way that you can measure if something is successful within a ministry area. This is, um, this is something that often we need to partner with other people in leadership on, and we need to hold each other accountable and continue to spur each other on um, to, pour into, to pour into God and allow him to pour into us uh, to be effective at what we're doing. Yeah, so often I see leaders who, um, because they're so busy, aren't involved in a small group. They aren't sometimes not even showing up for worship. Uh, because they're in the, another part of the building doing some doing, kind of doing, activity. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, but not best. You right. know, it's all good stuff, but we've got to put Christ first. He's, he is the best. Um, yep. So we actually have a whole another video just on self-leadership. So if this is something that you feel like, gosh, i got to work on this, then I want to encourage you to check that out. Uh, last, yeah. but certainly not least, mm -hmm. is IP, which stands for Inspire Progress. This is my favorite one uh, because we say that leadership, at, if you boil it down to its essence, leadership is about movement. It's about moving people from where they are to someplace else. And as followers of Christ, that someplace else is someplace better. And uh, so inspiring people to take that journey to move um, off of where they are, to come up with the energy and so forth, the vision to move mm -hmm. forward um, is at the heart of what we believe leadership is about. Yes, and that requires knowing your people. That requires knowing how to be the wind in their sails. Um, it requires being specific to their individual ministry area, to their personalities, uh, and how can we best breathe life uh, into them so they can continue to breathe life into others. Uh, and it's very exciting when you see people start to catch that vision and share it. Uh, and so it, it's well worth the time and effort it takes to to get to know your people well. Um, so there, in a nutshell, is leadership. Again, we have L-E, love everyone. A-D, address dysfunction. E-R, equip and resource. S-H, stay hopeful. And I-P, inspire progress. So we hope that this has been helpful to you in your own leadership development as you are leading leaders in your church. And as always, if there's anything that we can do to be of assistance to you, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you more about this. Please tune in again uh, for our next uh, training here at Move Leadership in Motion. Thanks for watching. <laughs>